Tucked away at the bottom of Lantau Island's hillside is a small town where two men, one a Sri Lankan, the other an Indian, decided to form a touch rugby game every Sunday. Their idea would spread through the community, bringing out people of different walks of life, drawing up to as many as 70 people at a time. This is their story. Hi guys, I'm uh, Kushanta Kush. Uh, I work with HSBC. Uh, from Sri Lanka but in Hong Kong for the last uh, what, nearly 10 years. Uh, my name is Fias. I'm basically in business and uh, I've been living in Hong Kong since 1982. My kids are born here and I got two daughters who loves rugby and one of them played for under 19 Hong Kong. Rugby background actually um, zip zero. I've never really played or been trained professionally so to say. I've, I've been an oarsman uh, and rugby is being just for fitness purposes. Uh, but I always loved the game, um, come and pass the ball around. Um, so with that, I you know, just got into it, keep playing on weekends. We normally come down here with a few bunch of guys, actually old guys, and started to do a bit of a touch for fitness and stuff like that. And slowly, since our kids are involved in rugby, they started to bring in young kids, like 19 year old, 20 year old, 17 year old. And that's how we started and we, it became a regular week event. Either we play on a Saturday or a Sunday, a good touch. And we love it. Um, well, when we started, it was everyone, uh, guys from the bank. Uh, we got together, there were about maybe 15 of us. And then we looped in a few other guys who were around Tung Chung. That's how we started. Um, and, uh, you know, and then people saw us playing, they started coming in and you know, word of mouth, it's just been word of mouth and I think it's the last uh, two years or so, Fias, ho hopefully you'll speak to him a little later, he with his daughters roped in the young guys who's now running the show, uh, so the old guys have fallen off, I managed to hang on but uh, yeah, uh, so yeah, so that's how it started, now it's word of mouth and uh, all the kids around the neighbourhood come and play. Me and a couple of guys showed up, rocked up one day and there were a couple of old guys playing touch and they asked us if we wanted to join. Yeah, nothing better to do on a Sunday, so we started playing touch weekly. Uh, Sundays here, yeah, yeah, it's just good, just different ages, different guys, you know, all just playing touch. It's fun to have a run around. We've been playing for, what, three and a half, maybe four years now, if I remember right. Uh, and uh, I was one of the founders, I must say. So, uh, yeah, we st my wife was back in Sri Lanka having my first son. Uh, and didn't have much to do so we started playing and uh, it was a bunch of guys from the bank uh, who were elderly like me who started but then it's evolved over the few years and now as you see all the youngsters are here and uh, they're giving us a good run. Most of them actually are graduates from YMCA about 80% uh, of them and, yeah and the other 20 are people who work at a, a bank like they're all bankers but they all love rugby so yeah, we uh, come together every uh, Saturday and Sunday. I'm 20 years old and I'm a student right now. I'm doing my last year in accounting. And uh, I do play here uh, on uh, usually the weekends. And rugby is just like, uh, you know, our recreational sport and a thing I used to, that I used to, you know, get my fitness back and relax, meet my friends. Well, it's, it's a nice kind of way to spend the weekend for us. I always look forward to it. I started rugby uh, at high school, just uh, part of the team, just having fun with a couple of friends. And then um, nowadays it's just a get together at weekends, just same things with friends, meeting new people, having fun. Yeah. I do like rugby because uh, it started when my, my, my two girls started training for the football club. And uh, at the same time my husband was coaching them. So we got involved from uh, the early age. Um, I started playing rugby when I was, I think, around six, seven years old. Um, I've been playing for the football club all my life and, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, well, starting from a young age, I grew to love the sport. Um, I love working as a team. I don't like individual sports. I feel like with individual sports, I used to do sprinting. Um, I just find that I put a lot of pressure on myself that's really unnecessary and you sort of grow to not like 
you know, to do it by yourself. Before it was just, uh, we used to call it Tung Chung rules because we used to come up with our own rules. Just, well, we dumped it down. A lot of us hadn't played before. Um, so we wanted to keep it simple. So, you know, anywhere in the body and ball forward would be a knock on, you know. Um, and there was no, uh, you know, one touch passing and stuff like that. So very dumbed down rules. But now with the guys getting more regular and, you know, younger guys who are more attuned to, you know, uh, what is going on so um, yeah the rules have improved the game has improved it becomes much faster and interesting now we've been teaching them proper touch and uh, it has come to a good level now they basically understand the game and they're enjoying it you know and uh, i hope uh, it can go further um it's really nice to see the oldies and the youngies sort of coming together you know um it's really competitive nowadays um i hope they start using you know proper touch rules a lot of these boys have come from not playing sports at, i mean not playing rugby at all to really you know really excelling in touch um and i feel like you know they could definitely form some kind of tung chung rugby team or something like that well first of all it's convenient i live near here and uh it's Pretty fun actually, it's uh, just touch, so it's not that active, but at the same time it is. And um, great community as well. Well, I think it's great because I, we, we, see, we see a lot of different personalities coming in here. Um, we've seen some rough games, uh, but over time, you know, people start to understand each other, controlling their tempers, uh, you coming in telling us what the rules are, etc. That's helped. So. Uh, yeah, I think it's a good community. I, I've got to know a lot of guys around here who I wouldn't have even met before. Um, yeah, and there's few few cliques of people coming in. So it's uh, building friendships. Uh, and I'm obviously keeping a lot of people fit as well. <laughs> uh, a lot of Indian guys. Uh, we've got a couple of Kiwi guys that come down. Uh, yeah, Hames, Australian, Indian. Uh, a couple Filipino guys will come down occasionally, Indonesians, yeah, it's quite a few, a lot of mix of people. Uh, it's, it's actually a mixed community, basically we have some Indians and we have some uh, Sri Lankans, uh, we have some mixed kids. Uh, it's, they're all born in Hong Kong and schooling in Hong Kong and uh, you know that's how we all came together and uh, enjoying the great game of rugby. It's, it's a team game it's uh, um, how the children develop to play in a team uh, it's about um, learning how to deal with each and every players um, emotion their frustrations I think sometimes they they do throw their frustrations in the game well rugby obviously is more physical naturally it's a more physical game but then uh, since we play touch rugby, it's more about quickness, you know, your agility, your speed. That's what matters when we play touch rugby here. And that's what helps me when I play football as well, because, you know, your speed, your quickness, your reaction time, that's what helps me the most. I started playing at uh, high school, uh, C grade, B grade to A grade. And um, I've always liked getting hit. <laughs> it's fun. And uh, I played lock, always second row. Three years ago, I had my first ACL surgery. Um, two years ago, I had my second meniscus surgery. And recently, um, a month ago, a month ago, I had my third ACL surgery. So um, yeah, my parents have been really supportive throughout that whole thing. And you know, they haven't asked me to stop playing because I'm not gonna. They think it's very dangerous. They think like, oh, Tyler's gonna get, uh, gonna get hit in the head and like, you know, go a bit wonky, but I'm already wonky, so it doesn't matter to me. I play football in the Division One League in Hong Kong. So football's my main sport. And then football really helps me when I play rugby, because, you know, the running and the, like, the basics of the game are the same, you know, the same athleticism is required for the game. So it kind of helps me when I play rugby here. So if I play games like uh, football or uh, basketball, sometimes the game stops. But um, in rugby, even if it's like a, the ball goes out for a line out, if you're not that quick enough, they can just quickly play it. So you gotta be on your feet all the time. Yeah, so that's what I love about rugby. Well, that question is for my younger daughter who loves Fiji. And uh, Serevi is the best player ever for her. Jordan Loimu, nothing better than that 11. Um, he was just a beast, like, 
took five men to take him down. He taken a ball, could rock three guys over at once, you know. Well, I've heard of Jonah Lomu. Yeah, yeah. I, I like I like that guy. I mean, he's strong. He's quick as well. I like watching him play. Yeah, that's the only guy I know, basically. <laughs>